is averaging eight yards a carry and could be headed for a Heisman Trophy. Today, he will tackle one of the fiercest defenses in the land. Simeon Rice, with 16 sacks, is number one in the nation in that category. And Dana Howard, number 40, with a dozen tackles, he'll become the all-time leader in that category in Big Ten history. Penn State today hopes to smell the roses here in Champaign. The standings tell you the story. In only their second year in the Big Ten, with a win today, Penn State would advance to Pasadena and the Rose Bowl. A strong-legged young man from Coral Springs, Florida, Brett Schuchline, to kick it off to the most dangerous offense in the land, averaging almost 50 points an outing. One W away from Pasadena, and here we come. And Fletcher on the one. Fletcher to the 22-yard line, where Kerry Collins will bring the offense out. And if he continues with this efficiency rating, he would become the highest in NCAA history, breaking the record Jim McMahon established back at Brigham Young. There's his backs and receivers. Danger, danger, and more danger there with that group. The offensive line is a veteran one, but one change today. Wayne Holmes steps in for the injured Marco Rivera. He will start at that left guard spot. Kajana Carter gets a play fake. Kerry Collins on first down, deflected. Out of bounds is Whitman incomplete. Second and ten. Now defensively against the number one defensive unit in the Big Ten and one of the best in the land, Dana Howard playing his last game here in Champaign. Now in that defensive backfield, there are some nicks and bruises, and the freshman, Trevor Starchill, moves in at cornerback. He is number 20. Well, Dick Vermeer, what do we expect from the Nittany Lions? Well, they think they can run on these people, and they don't want to allow the Illinois defense to dictate them, so they want to go after them. Yes, they started out with a play-action pass, but they do want to establish the run. And here it is, Carter to the 25-yard line. Defensively for the Illini. We, of course, learned again that Penn State scripts 25 plays on Wednesday, and they think this has contributed to their great starts this year. They said it's developed offensive rhythm in that first quarter, and they've been very efficient. But Illinois is playing a totally different scheme of defense now, matching up 51 Kevin Hardy on Brady, the big tight end. They'll have to adjust that 25 place script. Dick, it would be huge if it's three and out. This is third and seven. I say huge for the Illini. Penn State fans want to keep it going. Here's Carter. He does not. He has stopped at the line of scrimmage by a hard-hitting defense. The ball could be down on the ground. Illinois recovered. Fumble, and the Illini have got it inside the 25. Move from North Chicago. Greg Landry sets the offense, and Ty Dother, the lone running back inside the 20-yard line. If the Illini are to have a chance, Johnson must have a very consistent game. Now, that is a superb pass efficiency rating. If he keeps it up, he could break the mark for that standard here in Illinois. Rodney Bird, number 44, moves in because of the injuries sustained by the fullbacks in this attack when they go to the two-back. The offensive line is also beaten up. Several of these fellas out there, they hope to go the distance. We'll have to see how it unfolds. After a five-yard gain by Dothard, it is second and five for the Illini. Dothard again, daylight. Dothard, Dothard to the five, and it's first and goal, Illini. Running game over the last three weeks, but the tackles in those people have been banged up, Brent. Brian Gelsheiser heads up the front seven for Penn State. Cliff Dingle moves in as their hero, which is how they refer to the strong safety in Penn State terminology. This is second and goal for the Illini from the three. Dother, touchdown, Illinois. After the turnover, they score first. Played the Penn State Nittany Lions. You see him highlighted there, number 97. He was matched up against big old Kyle Brady, the tight end. He had more than his share of problems, though. Play after play, he was just taken right out of it, manhandled. He had the speed, but he didn't have the endurance. He didn't have the strength. So you know what he did? He went to the weight room. He worked extra hard. All year, he said, I can't wait to come back and play the Nittany Lions. He's had his chance, recovered one fumble. Carter being stretched, and Hardy runs him out of bounds. And Mike Archie joins. He can slip out of the backfield underneath coverage. Collins steps one, almost 
intercepted by Tyrone Washington, who had a good look at it that time and closed on the zone from the left side. By a touchdown and have the ball back 56 yards away. Johnson and Dother. They're sticking right on the ground. Johnson under the blitz gets it off. Incomplete. The slot is to Johnson's left. The blitz from Yaboa Cody and Yaboa Cody putting the pressure lines. On. Kerry Collins can come alive. Kajana Carter goes in motion to the far side. Collins rolls away from him. Intercepted by Washington at the 34. Almost the same pass that he just about picked off a short time ago. Illinois with a first down inside the 25. Golden opportunity for Illinois in the first quarter. But they must take advantage of their opportunities in this football game. Dothert again running splendidly today. This is his hard tight. There's Dothert again pounding to the A very 11. good defensive end in Jeff Perry, number 82. Well, it's first and 10 at the 11 yard line. Dothert, big holes behind the center. Dothert to the one yard line. Deal with Dothert. Johnson on a roll now. He's got a receiver wide open. Touchdown, Illinois. Ken Dilger. 6.20 to go. It's 14 0. And with that wind, Schuplein just drills it out of the end zone. Blake and number 22 playing in that corner position. And remember, Hardy has been tying up Kyle Brady. Let's him come out this time. And they run the ball with Carter. And Carter to the right now. Third down and three for the Lions. Scott's your motion receiver. Carter. And Carter is short of it. And that was Paul Marshall. This defense is standing tall. But instead, they come right back with Dothard, and that time he is stopped by Yaboa Cody, the young man born in Ghana. Three, then cover with eight. Tough to throw efficiently against that. Underneath, he's got him, and he threw behind him. He hadn't chased what they give me. He de demonstrated it then. Larson punting to Archie, and with the win, there'll be no return here. It gets a bounce. Turner was down there, and the Alina. He's up the front a little bit, Brent. Whitman the fullback and it's Whitman to the right now Collins again from his own end zone firing and Scott on the juggle has got it but is out of bounds and that is short of the mark is the motion the man so he'll be coming out in a slot on that short side Johnson under pressure fires and he's got it to his tight end Ken Dilger inside the 10 inside the Johnson will line up with the shotgun they're still in that three down lineman defense playing an extra nickel back in there as a fourth linebacker can't find an open man now he does touchdown Illinois Shane Fisher with their third. this is unbelievable but Joe Paterno with plenty of weapons and still time to lose focus on that. He's still favored to get to the Rose Bowl. Using the fullback straight ahead, John first down of this football game. Collins will attempt to throw for it. Incomplete. They've got to give it up again. Jack Aru, what is the mood on that pitch? Cross that front now and move a linebacker up. They show five, six in the box. And they're just coming off the blocks. That last offensive. four ball games all broken down. They're back to four defensive linemen again. Dulick. What's been going? All right, here we go. Third and one. They'll run the toss now. Dothan's got the first down if he turns it upfield. 50 to the 46 yard. Bird is in at fullback. Dothan's back gets the call. Long handoff, and he gets the first down. Be number one this year. That's the way to play linebacker. And Yaboa Cody is over here on the short side. Five man. Here they come on the blitz. Screen was called and it's incomplete. They're all over Douthard and that was Herring who's career hit. long. Is 52. It's a, he's going to pooch, pooch it. it. Pooch it. Drop it up over the top beautifully. Defense Excellent. runs with it. How is that for a play? Oh, oh. baby, what a pooch punt. 
Got to congratulate the coaches on that one. That's really well done. From the one, the fullback to the six yard line. Punt. The punter's getting a lot of work today. It is stunning to think we're into the second quarter and the Nittany Lions don't have at least one first down. And none of their real skilled people like Bobby Ingram, those guys have touched the ball. This is Carter, swings wide to the right, beats Hardy, first down, out to the 21, and that's their best play so far of the day. Right side here. See, it was going to go up inside. See, couldn't go inside, so he bounces it outside. Hardy fighting down in like that, couldn't get back outside. Still Illinois into the game, lines up a tailback, superb receiver off of fake Collins, and he's got his tight end, Brady. Brady running free, and Brady to the 41, and now here come the Nittany Lions. They've got him. Now that play action just engulfs the linebackers. He gives them a little move to the outside, nice throw. Now that's the kind of ball we've been watching Collins throw all year. A 38-yard gain. Carter back into the backfield, number 32, lined up at tailback behind Mills. Here comes Carter, right side. Now that they have this lined up against Kyle Brady. Collins off a of fake, throws underneath, and it's Brady again. Brady for the first down with a second. Or Scott. He'll pull back. And he'll toss it to the tight end as long as it's working. It's Brady to the 16 yard. Got a lot of experience down here. Carter on the delay. Carter to the 10 yard line, and this will lead to some impressive drive right now. And here comes Carter, right side, slashes to the two yard line. Carter goes to the wing and moves in motion. Mill still battling. Touchdown is the signal from the one linesman. He's got it. Boy, it didn't look he like he had his it. hands up, and there it is. Inside him. They're going to let him release inside. They're going to throw him the football. This was close up here. It didn't look like he got in. With the bodies down there, we can't make a final. We give a return on this one. Jones from the nine line. Little return. Now he's going to swing it out to the right, but he is cut off and short of the 20 yard line. There's Douthard on the delay. Douthard continues to be an Checks in a tail on this third and two behind the fullback, and they'll use Platt. Platt tried to get it, and he was hit by Gelsheiser at Boy, the point of attack. Any... What a great tackle. They're going for the football, Brent. They want to take that football out of there. Boom. One guy pulling on the other guy hitting them. They have they stopped him. Like trailing 21 to 7. They scored the last time. A 99-yard drive. In the round. Fake to Ingram. And Collins going to go deep. It's Scott. Touchdown, Penn State. What a beautifully conceived play. Very deceptive play. Fake the fullback. Poise, slow ball. Fake the reverse. Look to the right. Fire it down the seam. Safety. Antoine Patton was out of position. There it goes. Touchdown. Big play. That's the sixth time this year that they've now scored. Now they offset Douthard. They use a double tight, and they're going to throw it on first down. Douthard's excellent receiver in the first half. Douthard cracks free for the first down. Pressure open, got Dilger. Dilger inside the 30-yard line. Now it's first and 10. Ball is inside the 30-yard line. Johnson again. Middle. Dilger went diving at the five-yard line. Better pass receiving tight ends in the Midwest this year. Johnson now. Down there to run into the end zone. The Illini get one back. You know something, Brent? All three of the off the country in graduation rate at 92%. Scooped up now, and that's Fletcher. And Fletcher's out to the 30. We've been talking about points, and we had an opportunity to ask Dana Howard, number 40, their linebacker. Dana, how many points now do you need to upset Penn State? Let, let's give a listen now, and I think you might hear the coach talking, folks. Here's Dana. I say 28. Uh, the offense only has to score 28 points, and uh, we have to go out there and do our job and not let them, you know, uh, shut down the big plays and not to let them do what they do best, you know. But if the offense scores 28 points, we win the ball game. 
There it is. You heard it from the man. Yes, sir. He's got three tackles, needs 12 to break the Big Ten record. They bring it to Carter on the end around. He's following the quarterback, and now Kajan on a cutback. Milne was going to throw the block, and Carter swings free now, and then stepped out of bounds. The Big Ten will pay it back to Penn State. But when it comes to football, this is great to have their addition to this conference. Archie steps in motion now, and here comes Collins out of there. Pressure, Simeon Rice battling. Collins with time. He's got Archie incomplete. Had him all alone at the 25-yard line. Boy, you don't see him underthrow a ball very often. Uh, and eight yards with 14 seconds to go. And here's Ingram. They run that center screen, and the Illini run it. They were the big, deep one. They had one of these go against them last week. Incomplete. One second left on the clock. Good pass rush. This could be the Hail Mary here with the three wide receivers over on the right. Johnson. And down he goes. He'll end the first half. Never had a chance to get it off. Paterno and the Nittany Lions will attempt to regroup. Illinois leads 28-14. The Prudential Halftime Report is coming up next. Here on the time possession here, plus nine minutes. Turnovers right here, giving up 14 points off those turnovers. Penn State not in the groove. Give the credit to the Illinois defense right now, and offense playing better than they expected to. Well, there are the offensive leaders. You can see Collins only 7 of 17. That's off his percentage completion. Carter, 11 for 53. He comes in here leading the country in average per rush at eight yards. He's not doing it today. Illinois getting a, a good performance out of their young quarterback in Johnson. Douthard, outstanding on the way to his best football game. This, this afternoon, we hope you enjoy the second half from Champaign, Illinois. This is ripped over Platt's head, out of the end zone. Johnson in the other formation. They go to double tight. They fake to Douthard. Johnson can't find an open man. Johnson now goes it deep. Dulick out of bounds and incomplete. He's still lineman this time. And they press with linebackers. Here comes the blitz. They incomplete. Dulick, the hot man, dropped it. Should have his buddies it. are ready to go back to work. Here come the Nittany Lions. They can strike in a hurry. Collins got one on one. Gets it to Ingram. Down to the 30 all day, but he has not been getting to Collins. First and 10. Leads the nation with 16 sacks. Archie. Gets the call initially to the 30. The fake to Carter. Collins fires short of the first down. It's the fullback. And Mill. one for the Lions. Carter, left side. Carter, 25, 20. Carter out of bounds at the seven yard line. It's a good job of blocking. Gets it blocked by the fullback, number 22, Millen. Gets the block there. Millen's leading through on the linebacker. They hook him off there. Then it's just great speed. 22 yards for Kajan. The toss is Carter. Carter, touchdown, Penn State. Boy, they just annihilated the corner of that defense that time. It was a very, very soft corner. Tossed it to him deep. They got a nice hook block right there. Now he turns it back up inside. Great big hole. Tight run looking formation. They're going to throw from it short to strong. First down, Illinois. That's all they running back behind Johnson. They're bringing the outside backer. Down right up. Gets through the hole. Now third in a foot race. They left it open and they fail. The ball out at their own 48 yard line. Gonna throw it on first down, and now Johnson will take off. They left that side of the field open. Dilger is your motion tight end, working with Cushing, and now it is Douthert again to the 34. Here's the toss. Douthert, can he turn it up? He does. Douthert battles his way to the 24, and another Illinois first. Now they put four down and show a linebacker, and Johnson will throw complete to the 10-yard line. First and 10 for Johnson and the Illini close to the 10. Douthert on a little delay. Douthert swings to the 9. That play down here. He's lined up on the right, but they'll run the toss. Douthert stopped at the 9-yard line. Receivers, and now basically a fourth with Platt. Johnson fires incomplete. He was under pressure, and he basically threw that pass away. Yeboah Cody was the man all over the record. 
27 yarder now against the breeze from the right hash mark. Good. And on the ground, short man picks it up at the 20 yard line. The fullback Milne twists free to the 40. Collins to throw on first down. Archie's running free. To the 10 yard line with Scott Turner saving the touchdown. Down the seam. The two defenders were out covering the slot. He makes a little fake in there. They pick up the blitz. They don't pick him up inside. There he goes down the hole. Now he's not as fast as Carter, but he's very elusive. Here's another look. Bang, completed pass. 47 yards, and Penn State with a first down at the Illinois 13. Collins deflected, incomplete. It was Chad Cooper who batted the ball. They're both locked up, it appears, one-on-one, -on -one unless they're disguising they it. disguised it. Collins rolling left, throws underneath. A well-conceived defense. Milne still battling. Dana Except Howard. The with that football. Going to try to get the six. Throw on the hit, it's incomplete. Big. Missed it. Wide right. From the 20-yard line. Johnson and the Illini. Fires complete to Jasper Strong. Strong breaks free. Strong to the 41-yard line. Now after the penalty. Douthard stuffed. Johnson. There's a, they were spying on him. Get free from Yaboa Cody, who was just wasting Four. 10 now, coming out from the 20 yard line. Kerry Collins and the Lions. They're doubling weak side. It's Carter. Carter slashes close to a oh, first down. Rundowns. They're going to have to throw the ball to the top of the field on those rundowns. They've got him. See, they did it then, though, Brent. They had him doubled and it was singled up, up there. On him again. They have come to hit Ingram off the line. They let him come, though. He's going to go free. Ingram's got it this time. At the 42-yard line for another yeah, first run. And Washington's going to blitz. Carter is stopped at the... Now Carter gives him an extra receiver on the left side. They throw incomplete. First and 10 now. Here is the toss. Douthard. Douthard slashes to the 25. First down, Illinois. Better get ready. Johnson, he'll run out of this to the 34-yard line with Mazik Freeman. Receivers are covered. Johnson goes down at the 23-yard line, and Illinois must punt. See what happened. They went with the three-man drive. Now it is first and 10, 10.24 to go. It looks like they might blitz the weak side corner. If they don't, they just drop off. Collins. There's where you want to go with the football. And it's Scott, Scott and Washington switches the defense too. And now Collins going to try to get Ingram. Ingram's out of bounds. Incomplete. She will undoubtedly go in motion over to the short side. They send a linebacker over on number two. Collins wants him on that side. Fires it. It's short of the first down. Why would not? Why would you not have Kajana Carter in there? Maybe because you want throw Archie the ball. as a receiver. They've used him on two plays in a row. They've got him as a safety valve. Collins can't get him. First down, and still some. Down to the 15-yard line that time, and Mr. Ingram. Axed side of your screen. He did an excellent job of maintaining his concentration. They stunt in the defensive line. He sits poised, poised. He sits, he looks, he fires late down in there. Excellent job of concentration by Kerry Collins. Now they slot Scott. He can run the slant instead they toss. And they bring Carter back in the game. Slips a tackle beautifully to the 10-yard line. Boy, has he got those strong, strong lower legs. Man, he just runs through people. Line. Same slot formation, previous play, run again. And Milne is the blocking back. Milne straight ahead. Milne, touchdown, Nittany Lions. Touchdown, Penn State. Oh, the pull. Bang, he gets a kick out. He goes up inside there. First 
touchdown. Coming out from the 28, they stick it on the ground with Douthard to the 30-yard line. Passing play. Johnson to Douthard. Douthard nowhere. Lost the yard with Brian Miller. And uh, let's go to John Saunders on the Mississippi State They're game. They're going to play zone behind it. They rush three, cover with eight. Deep drop. Incomplete. He overthrew Ken Dilger. And, and now Larson punts it for the Illini. And Archie lets it go over his head. This is a huge punt for the Illini. Can they get it before it reaches the end zone? They will. Inside the five-yard line. Oh, no. The tight ends and two running backs and try to get themselves out of a tough spot. Here's Carter, ball in the right hand. He stood up at the four-yard line with Chad Cooper. Ingram is off to Collins' right. Scott to his left. Fake, he's going to throw from his own end zone. Plenty of time. Underneath to the fullback, Milne, and he's to the 11-yard line with Washington tackling him. Very good defense downfield. He didn't want to throw the football. To keep it alive. There. We're inside of five minutes, and here we go. They're going to go against the three-man line. Got it. It's Brady. First down, Penn State. His what? first catch since three during the 90-yard drive. You know, Brent, critical down situations from an offensive standpoint. You think about sometimes not so much the play, but who should I put the ball? Who should I give the ball to? Why not give it to a fine, fine football player? Good decision. Now on the seven-yard gain, the ball is out at the 18-yard line. Brady's on the right side. Collins on first down, puts it in Ingram's hands, tries to twist free. First down, Penn State. Good, quick passing. Hard to get to him when you set three steps and throw the ball and get a... And the yardage is tacked on. If we take a look at it here, Dick. 22, that's Rod Boykin up there. You could... Definitely had a hold of that face mask initially. Definitely had a hold of it. Then he got out of it late. So the ball brought out to the 44-yard line. Well, it should come down to this, shouldn't it? As good an offense as there is in the land, as gets as good a defense, huh? On first down, Collins. Carter at the 49-yard line, five yards on first down. Mickey Johnson, who's playing for the first time in three weeks, is coming off to the sideline, and Marshall is back in as the nose man for Illinois. Carter swinging left. Carter looking for an angle. He got the first down, though. Big Keith Conlon, the offensive strong side tackle, pulled around there and got just enough block to give him that lane to the outside. They wanted to go inside, but good penetration by the defense did not allow it. Boy, it's amazing when you have a guy 6'7 and 301 pounds that can pull all the way across the field and get a block at the opposite side of the field. Pretty good mobility. The Nittany Lions working against the clock, 342, trailing it by three. Mill to the 41 yard line. Marco Rivera's in there playing now at left guard. He did not start because he had an injury problem. Wayne Holmes had been playing in there, but hey, it's that time. Put your best people on the field, and this guy is a very fine guard. He has good mobility. He can get outside further than the big 330 pound young offensive lineman in Wayne Holmes. A win puts Penn State in Pasadena. A tie does not. A win keeps Penn State in the running for a national championship. A tie drops them down. Now Collins. Brady short of the first down to the 35-yard line with Washington hanging on. And now it'll be third down and a yard for the Nittany Lions. Ingram to the right. Scott moves into the slot. It's Collins' left side. Hardy, the battle for the first down, and the Illinois defense may have held up with Kevin Hardy leading the way. It'll depend on where they spot it. Boy, the inside linebackers for Illinois, Dana Howard and Holosak, just attacked the fullback lead block that time and forced it to bounce outside. They're going to scrape right into it. 
two fine linebackers. Holasek, 52, takes him on right up inside, forces it outside. Hardy, number 51, a fine linebacker in his own right, makes the play. And Brady was unable to take care of Hardy. That switch made by Illinois to put Hardy over on him, and they get it. They get the first down. See, but the, what happens on that kind of play, Brent, he's actually trying to turn him out because the play's designed to go inside. Good defense inside, force it outside, makes it tough on the tight end. But good linebacker play as well, though, by Hardy. Danny Marson thinking deep. Now 217, and the ball inside the Illinois 35 yard line. Archie is in a tailback, Milne's the fullback. Collins is going to throw it. Over the middle, and it's complete inside the 20 yard line. Good protection allowed him the time, gave him the time to get the ball across there. He crossed the formation coming from the left to the right side. They used play action, strong side. Nice play action, faking inside to the tailback. Comes back, the pattern will come from the left side of your screen. He throws it in there. He wanted to throw left. They doubled left, couldn't get it there. Good execution. So Scott makes a huge catch for him. Alabama goes ahead. And now the favorites are starting to come back as Carter has returned to the lineup for the Nittany Lions. And you see Washington in there. This is the kind of ending that this game deserved. When you consider the buildup, the Penn State offense, the Illinois defense, and here it is, strength on strength. The ball inside the 20-yard line. A second down and 10 for Collins and the Lions. It looks like blitz, Brent. They backed out, they bluffed it. Collins with time complete to the 10-yard line. They Eight yards on the second down pass will leave them with third and two. They gave him the eight-man front look to blitz from, showed the blitz, showed the blitz, and then backed out right prior to the snap. Good poise by Kerry Collins, 50-year senior, demonstrating real poise and setting there and allowing that play to develop. Archie checks in. Carter is out. Milne's the fullback. Ingram to the left. Scott to the right. Milne, first down. Milne battling. Milne to the three-yard line. It's first and goal with 103 to go. So you get the defensive line. You get your back is getting to the end, your own end zone. You start penetrating, coming after them. So what do they do? They run a trap play. They ran it down there in this same situation earlier. But that's tough on the defensive line with good offensive call. I know a lot of voters, if Penn State pulls this out, will look just at the final score, and they will say, oh, didn't win by enough. We won't vote them number one. Let me remind everybody, they were down 21 to nothing here in Champaign. Should Penn State pull this out, they have got to consider moving them back to number one. This would be a great comeback if they can pull it off. The winning touchdown. The ball is at the two yard line it is first and goal for the Lions obviously right here defensively you've got to strive to shut off those inside gaps if they're going to run you force them to run outside force them to run out there and get your support from the outside but don't let them pop it inside Brady goes to the left side of the formation Carter is back he's on that wing over there Milne the fullback gets the call touchdown Penn State takes the lead this man is one of the great stories in college football. Milne is a young man who has battled Hodgkin's disease. He has come back. He has conquered it. And here he is with his third touchdown of the game. He is the main man of this Penn State team today. It's heart and soul, if you will. Just the old power off tackle play, and all he's thinking about is power. Get it in the end zone. Now we have seen Illinois in the same situation come back and win a football game, Brent. You and I couldn't believe it when they did it to Michigan a year ago. Leads 35 to 31. There's the low line drive and kicked on into the end zone now by Platt. 
And he downs it there, the official helping him out just a little. And Dulek. Dilger's the tight end. They'll use the shotgun. Douthert, an excellent receiver, is in the running back spot. They set a screen on first down with Douthert. Douthert's got a seam. Douthert out to the 41-yard line. Two timeouts remaining. The first down stops the clock in college football. Remember. Three-man rush. And eight. now they're bringing four men in the rush. Get a little more pressure. Help that. Receivers were all covered, so he threw it out of bounds. Defender. Three down linemen. Johnson pumps, fires, a diving incomplete. It was Jasper Swan. Nothing on the road, a Rose Bowl at stake. Now it's third and 10 against Illinois. And the linemen move. It is suddenly third and 15. So we could have both Bama and Penn State pulling it out here in the fourth quarter, third and 15. And it's Johnson. Fires incomplete. Jasper Strong. And squat. Force him to throw the ball back to the inside, Brent, and not allow him to even get to the sideline. Rush three, cover eight. Probably will be their scheme. Need to reach the 48-yard line. Johnson, Johnson fires for it. Strong, got it. Beautiful throw. They get it on fourth and 15 with 15 seconds to go. It is first down. And they'll need to hurry now after the 18-yard gain, and they will use the last time. a timeout. One-on-one -on -one situation. Good idea to maybe chuck the slot man, especially the slot man in that shotgun formation, that wide receiver, and don't let him come off clean. First down from the shotgun. Johnny Johnson, they change the look at the snap. They give Johnson a different look, and he'll take off from it. He's got to worry about the clock. Incomplete. He overthrew Klein, and now there are eight seconds. He might have been. I'm going to ask the coach about this, just as wise to. Eight seconds. So they lined up in this bland prevent, and then all kinds of white jerseys move. Indiana hit one last week. <laughs> Seven seconds now, Johnson. Strong stops the clock at two seconds with a first down. The clock is stopped. They have given Illinois a chance to pull it out. Zulik and Fisher all come to the short side. You've got to watch Dilger, the tight end, from the right side of this formation. They show three wides over here to the short side. And Johnson. Johnson. Goes deep to the end zone, intercepted, and it's over. Penn State rallies to win it. They're going to the Rose Bowl. The Nittany Lions have made it to Pasadena in their second year in the Big Ten. A great comeback against Lou Tepper and Illinois trailing 21 to nothing. Penn State wins it. Let's go to Jackaroo, Jack. Well, Coach, does it get any closer than that? What a heart. Man, I, my heart can't stand another football game like this. football game. I thought both teams played really well. It was a great game to watch. No turnovers until the last one at the end of the game. It was a great football. Great to be part of it, too. Go celebrate with your pl oh, players. Yeah. Well, our genuine Chevrolet, most valuable players of this game. We're going to go to the heart and soul. I know that Kerry Collins played well. But we're going to go with fullback Brian Mill, and he scored three times. Ty Douthy, he led the way for Illinois. The genuine Chevrolet MVP, and Chevrolet donates $1,000 to each school's general scholarship fund to reward outstanding students for their academic achievements and to assist those in financial need. It was a great football game in Champaign. The thrifty post-game report is coming up. So long, everybody.